show tonight a Hollywood actress, an action man, a top comedian, and the most famous bearded lady in the whole world. No, Dawn! Let's start the show! You're unstoppable. Yeah, you're unstoppable. <laughs> Just like my next guest. Yes, she captured the hearts of a continent when she won the Eurovision Song Contest last weekend. And here's a reminder of how she did it. This is the proper trophy. I've yeah. only ever seen it from a distance. Wow. And is it one you get to keep? Yes, I do. You know, I know it's a bit embarrassing, but I carry it along all the way. Was that in your hand luggage like today? Yes. No, we don't want to drop it. We don't drop it. Listen, no. congratulations, Conchita. Yeah, thank you. Such a popular win on the night. Everyone thank was so you. happy. I cried the whole time. Uh, well, I don't blame you. I was crying. We were all crying. All the commentators, we were all in the hall afterwards going, <laughs> it was so good, it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's been tweeting about you. Cher was tweeting about you. Yes. That's so cool. It is. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> you mean like Cher, Cher? Yeah. <laughs> You're the rightful heir to the Cher throne, I think. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know... <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I was very excited about this tweet because she gave me two advice. She said, darling, first... Uh, well, she didn't wrote darling, but in my mind she said... <laughs> 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 so, yeah. she, she tweeted, um, uh, darling, you deserve a lovelier name and a better wig. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Yeah, my hairstylist was well, quite... Well, you chose Cochita, Cochita, right? Yes, I Yeah. Did. So, that's... So, uh, because I thought my hair was quite nice. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Mind you, if anyone knows wigs, it's Cher. You have I to listen know. to her wig advice. I know, yeah. I know, Yeah, I know. she's all over that wig yes, thing. Yes, <laughs> And uh, apparently there's some flowers waiting for you in your dressing room here. Yes. Tell the people who sent you flowers. Well, I got flowers in my dressing room, and the card said, we love you, Elton and David. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't get any flowers. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, listen, let's talk about the beer, because... To my mind, you know, you in this country, you come from a long... You know, there's a legacy of kind of mainstream entertainers like you, from Danny LaRue to Dame Edna to Lily Savage. But even here in Britain, people are a bit, if not freaked out, they're kind of confused by the beard. Why do you think the beard is such a big deal? Actually, I don't really... Well, I know it is something like you don't see every day. So, but I created this bearded lady just to show everybody that you... It's so cheesy, but you just get one life, you know, and you better make it fabulous. And that's just my own truth. And I, I feel this stage persona, and I, I felt more comfortable on stage. And beside that, you know, I'm a member of the gay community, and our stories are similar. And being a teenager in this small village wasn't the funniest thing on earth. So over the years, I tried to fit in, and I changed myself in every, every way you can imagine. I just wanted to be part of the game. And, and then I realized, well, I, I create the game. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Can I just say that? Oh, yeah. Can I just say, the wonderful thing about watching you there, um, and as you say, you don't see this every day, but A, it's amazingly glamorous. B, you, you completely inhabit your skin so beautifully. And I think you raise so many questions, but you're also all the answers. 
That's what's so great about you. There's no well, doubt. Right. <laughs> so, you know, Conchita Verst, you're everywhere, you're on all the papers, you're all over the internet, da da da. So, what is your plan now? Have you made a plan yet? No. I don't. <laughs> okay, TikTok, I know, be making a plan. I know. But you know what? Our, our society is so fast, you know, and everything is so, so quick. Yeah. So we really try to, you know, sit back and, and look and watch and choose wisely. Yeah. So, so did you, do you have again. material from an album already? Was that all there already? Or are you going to have to write new songs? Oh, and... I have to, to make new stuff because, yeah, there, there are some songs, but, you know, I, my goal is a Grammy, so these songs should better be good. Yeah. And you should have Sia. Sia writes good songs. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think America... Well, America's already... You know, because so many... It's weird, because America doesn't really pay attention to the Eurovision, but America's gone mad for you, so... If I was you, I'd just go to Heathrow and go there. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure Ellen will write you a song. Yes. Oh, I, I mean, come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah you should. <laughs> or you could represent the UK at Eurovision next year. Yeah. Listen, Conchita, we are just so happy that you've entered our lives, and uh, good luck for the future. Thank you so All much. All right. Come on, lovely Conchita, nice. <laughs>